Na, Sylvania, Sylvester, the bang. Allie just got her brand new phone. What happened to it? My friend broke it. I was sitting on my bed just reading a book, and all of a sudden, I felt something come out of my nose. And I I was sitting on my bed just reading a book and all of a sudden I felt something come out of my nose and it popped down on my shirt and I'm like, what was that? And I looked down on my shirt and, and it was blood. I'm like, what the heck? And it just started like streaming down, streaming like a waterfall. And so I have blood all over my mouth. I have blood all over my hands. Blood are all over her face. Mm-hmm. I got blood right here. That's where I found out I had a bloody nose. I have blood right here on my bed. I have some, I think I have some over there on my bed. Gosh, that is so gross. Streaming down. I'm like, Asbury, hurry and go get me a napkin. But um, it's all dried up now. But put a, like four wipes to my face to make sure it was soft. Then I took it off and there was blood all over the wipes. Good job, Gigo. What a big guy you are. Is there a reason why you have a robe wrapped around your hair? Because I took a shower and I want to bring the towels out of the bathroom. And so I just put this on my head. <laughs> At least you're resourceful. Isn't that heavy though on your head? No. I'm my Gino. What are we doing? <gasps> what are we going to do? Look, there's mommy. She wants to know what we're gonna do. Where are you going? I don't know. We're gonna get lumber for the trailer, right? Yeah. Because the trailer needs new framework, so we have to go get that so we can rebuild it. You want to? Yeah. Is this me and you? Okay. Okay, give me a kiss. Tell mommy, wear your seatbelt. Seat no, you wear your seatbelt. You seat wear belt. your seatbelt. Hey. Okay. Come on, Oh, yeah. All right, have fun, boys. Be good, have fun. I hope you find your dad. Oh, you find your dad. <laughs> My dad is daddy. Oh, okay. You know how daddy told me about the leeches last night? Yeah. I took melatonin. You know how melatonin totally like screws up my brain? Yeah. <laughs> I had a nightmare about, we went back to that lake and I was like, it's okay. There's not gonna be leeches in here. And I got out and there were leeches all over me and I woke up and went in the bathroom and just started like sobbing. Aww. I was like, it was so bad. I could like hardly even breathe because I was crying so bad. So what scares you so bad about leeches? I don't know. <laughs> They're just big and fat and ugly and scary and they suck your blood maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry you had bad dreams. <laughs> it's all daddy's fault and the melatonin. Brain. <laughs> and and Dreams can be so terrible. Yeah. They can be so realistic, and then you're just like, wake up, wake up, wake up, and you can't wake up out of them. I'm sorry. The mind plays terrible tricks on you. Yeah, it really does. Ah, Savannah, Lizzie. Coming. You're going to a friend's house. Come on. Yay. So excited. They're going to play at a friend's house. Okay, have fun. Bye, love you, bye. 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 Bye, so we're going to go get the last thing on my list, my school shopping list. Maybe I should wear these around the school. Maybe they're Regina George at the school. You make your calves look amazing. Sweet. I don't think that they're very practical though. They're super cute. Yeah, I don't, I don't like them actually. Oh, you don't? No. <laughs> What is the problem that you have? My feet are two different sizes. I kind of want boots. How does that work? Um, one foot is 
size eight, the other is size eight and a half. So one foot is bigger than the other, so I have to get bigger shoes. Like a shoes to hold. So that they can fit one size. Because it's better to have bigger shoes than squeeze your foot off. That's true. Ready to go back to school now? Nope. No. You're not. Why? I don't have a backpack yet. Ah, all right. I don't need a backpack. <sighs> uh, I have a question for you. So I'm going to this choir setup service thingy. Mm -hmm. Well, is there any way that I could drive myself to the school? Are you confident about that? Yes. Sure. Yes. Did when, you see? When do you have to go? And how long are you gonna be there? Um, I can... Tell me in inches, no, <laughs> Inches. Um... Six inches? You can't tell me in 60? inches, then you can go... 60, 60 inches? I don't know. An hour or something. I don't know, it's three o'clock right now, and it ends at five, so... Okay. 120. <laughs> Just a few days, Allie is gonna be driving to and from the school every day. So we're gonna do a practice round, having her drive there feel comfortable, and I also forgot to put her on our car insurance, so I have to go home and do that before she can drive by herself. Are you nervous at all? Mm -hmm. That's a good thing, that's a good sign. Allie did a really great job. I think she's ready to drive herself to school. Hey, Gigo, what are these? What is this? Banana. Does it look yummy to eat? Mm -hmm. It's squishy. It's squishy. It doesn't look very good to eat, does it? Should we make it into something yummy to eat? Yeah. Good job, banana. thank you. Oh, Daddy almost ate your banana. Can I have a bite? Mm -hmm. Okay, just one bite. <laughs> oh, so nice. <laughs> Dad, a banana. What should we do with the squishy ones? I don't know. Should we make them into some banana bread? Okay. Should we snap it into banana bread? Okay, get your hand ready. One, two, You do? Uh -huh. Okay, taste a little bit on the side right there. Now done. Oh, okay, let's see, taste it. How is it? Good. Good, should we make some bread with it now? Uh -huh. Put it in the oven? Whoa, Gigo, <laughs> guess what? Should we make Dala Hess bread? Whoa. Did you know we had a Dala Hess pan? Yeah. Let's make it with this one. Oh, this is another one. Oh, a baby one. I do it and this one and you do it and that one. Okay, okay sounds good. Are you gonna do the dishes for me? Yeah. Hugo, what are you doing? Just washing. You're washing the dishes. <laughs> okay. Why are you washing the dishes? Because mommy um, um, is happy. Okay. You wanna make mommy happy so you're washing the dishes? Yeah. Good boy. Allie just got her brand new phone and it's all working and set up. And what happened to it? Um, my friend broke it. I was texting mommy, telling her I was done, and my friend uses her hands for stuff and hit it out of my hands. Little corner right there. But. But, it's the main phone, it's not just the screen protector. Why I have this. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't have taken it without a case and without a screen protector on it. Next time it breaks, you're just gonna have to Live without a phone. You knew you should have put something on it, right? I knew. 
Don't mm -hmm. take the easy way out. Mm-hmm. I'm just glad it's this corner, not the whole screen. Yeah. So my parents are gone at dinner um, and so I decided that I'm just going to get started on our room. So I'm going to pour the paint in there and get started. I'm actually super excited. I've never actually painted before. Like I've helped my parents out with it but I've never like done it, you know? I'm so excited. Figo, 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 fig, fig, figo, fig, figo, fig, fig, figo, fig, me. Guess what? Your doll has this done. Look. Look. You like it? What's his name? Oh, so cute. I got it. You gonna eat it? Eat it. Or do you want to eat it now? Whoa, you almost fell down. Okay, make it happen, but be happier about Wait, that. Make it bite. Wait. Oh, you're gonna bite his bum first, Kigo? No. How is it? Good. Is it good? My goal with this whole room thing is for the girls to take care of themselves. I know I've helped out with painting of the beds and the trim and stuff, but their job is to paint the room. Which means that I have to be okay with mistakes, right? Because they have to learn sometime. Well, I just went up there to check their progress and found this on the floor. That is our camera. That's our G7X that um, we use all the time. And that's paint all over our camera. Yeah. See that on the bottom? That's paint. There we go. That's how things are going up there apparently. I also found there's two big huge drops of paint on the carpet. So. Uh-oh. We'll see how it all turns out. We've just been building Legos. We probably will for a while because building Legos is fun. Even if you are a 16 year old, we're just taking a little break on our room. Danielle is almost finished with one wall and I got half of another wall. So we got some of it done, not a ton, but we did get some of it done, which is- We've never painted before in our life. Yeah, we've never so painted before. Cut us some slack. Um, I think we like asked our parents to help help them paint like when we were little, little, but, but we weren't allowed to. But we were too sloppy. So yeah, we've we've never painted before. So we're we're learning little by little. Daddy's being awesome and helping us out with um painting and everything. We are going to go build Legos some more and Danielle's gonna eat a bagel because yeah. that's her. But we wanted to let you know we love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. You, you are, are worth it.